What's up, man? I know it's been a while. And before I start this video, I want to say shout out to homeboys at Atlanta, man. Shout out to both of y'all. I totally forgot your name, man. My fault. But I know I haven't posted in a while. You know, I'm just trying to get some stuff together. And almost there. But I want to come and make this video because homeboy gave me a, a idea. He asked a valid point today and I had to call a few folks and luckily a friend of mine that did it was working with me so I could have asked her. But I want to jump into it and say that first thing before I jump in it, I want to say never burn a bridge no matter what. Never burn a bridge, man, because you never know one day you might want to cross back that bridge right so he had an issue to where on this contract he took a loss and you know he had to jump on him for personal reasons you know it, it wasn't the best contract to to go on but you know he took it for whatever personal reason that he had to take it for and all of a sudden, a better contract that he probably making what well, four or five hundred dollars more pop up out of nowhere that's even closer to home. So he was wondering if he should just say f this and jump on that contract. So I'm telling him, no, don't do that. Never burn a bridge. You feel me? Just tough it out and hopefully, hopefully, I'm saying hopefully it probably won't be there, but hopefully that. The same contract artist or another contract like that will be around when this one is over. I mean, he probably have two months and a couple weeks to go. And I mean, he freshly new, brand new there. And I mean, so I'm telling them, listen, man, you never know. God work in mysterious ways, man. You probably see this contract and can't get into it. And as soon as you finish and want an even better one to come up that's even closer to home. So, as I said, if you guys out there and y'all thinking about breaking a contract, man, my advice is don't, don't break it because you never know what could happen in the future. You need that company to travel with. I know there's hundreds of companies out there, man, but you never know. It could be in a situation that that's the only company that have that contract in your area, but you violated or you didn't own up to your agreement and they don't want to take you. You know, what will happen if you do break a contract? So far, the person who broke the contract that I know of, she said nothing happened. You know what I mean? The company got, um, the company had to pay back all the money to the hospital. You know, if I own a company and somebody break that contract, I will never work with you ever again because you, you cost me money. You get what I'm saying? So... And she said it's not the only company that she broke it with. I don't really want to put too much out there, people's name and stuff, but you used to going around breaking contract like that? Ah, man. It's a matter of time that nobody going to want to work with you. So why would you? You know what I mean? You have to make sure you have an absolutely good reason before you break a contract and make sure you actually relate back to your uh, recruiter and you know get your neutral agreement and understanding before you walk out of a job you get what I'm saying you know but anyway that was about it I want to talk to you guys about man because I know he wasn't the only one in that situation that's thinking about breaking a contract and move on to someone something better but if you guys ever were in that situation, man, just tough it out, man. I know some contracts is ridiculous, man. Some of them is is like, why the, do I even do this? Like, some places, they're racist. I mean, if you feel like you're being treated unfairly and racism in, included, I don't mean necessarily break that contract. I mean, if somebody can't understand that, then that's their problem. I don't really tolerate racism or or any damp or nonsense like that. If you feel uncomfortable, then break it all means, but make sure you call your company and let them know what's going on before you just walk out. 
you know, it's better you tell them and they tell the hospital and what's going on and then they could move you and send somebody in your spot versus you just get upset and walk out. You feel me? But anyway, otherwise from that, man, it was nice being back. And thank you guys for all the support and subscribe, man, and reviews. I just realized that I'm almost at a thousand. So keep hitting that uh, subscribe button. Keep smashing that subscribe button and that like, man. And anything that come across me, if I think it will help you guys out, I'll definitely make another video for you guys. But otherwise from that, peace out, man. It's your boy TNS, man. And I'm back. You feel me? You